Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva, who's turning the tables on me here. But you're holding the mic very high, Anderson. It's almost like up my nose. How are you, Anderson? I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's I'm do this. Stay here for the fight, with my friend uh, Rogério. I'm happy. I'm so happy staying here. I, I do sense that you are very happy. You're you're signing autographs. You you just have a huge smile on your face. Why are you so happy? Hey, the people is love UFC. UFC is my house. I love the people. I love my fans. You like interacting with the fans? Yeah, I love it. Do you feel as though this is something that you need to do more of, especially after what happened in your last fight and some of the comments that you received from the fans? Ah, não pelo mal entendido, é porque eles merecem é, a minha atenção, só por isso, mas não pelo mal entendido. Eu acho que o que aconteceu na luta é uma coisa que acontece. Yeah, um, you know, I'm not here intermingling with the fans because of the misunderstood fight that I had last time. It's just simply because they deserve it. Uh, you know, they're here, you know, they're fans, they pay for the pay-per-view, and sometimes the fans don't understand exactly what's going on um, inside the octagon. Um, unfortunately, they're used to seeing a knockout, and sometimes they can think that you can knock them out whenever you please, but it just doesn't work that way. You have a strategy, this is a sport, it's a dangerous sport, and you got to make sure to go in there and protect yourself. Um, my strategy was done. Um, I fought all the way to the end and completed my strategy but sometimes you know the fans I understand they, they pay to see a knockout they pay to see a big finish but sometimes it doesn't happen so that said do you feel as though there are misconceptions about you um, in the MMA community do people not know the real Anderson Silva ah uh, com certeza com certeza é eu sou uma pessoa super tranquila pô adoro todos os meus fãs é ao contrário do que muitas pessoas pensam é, é, que eu não sou humilde, eu sou muito humilde. Eu acho que eu não cheguei até aqui hoje para eles estarem é, é, sendo meus fãs e me tratando com esse carinho que eles me tratam se eu não fosse humilde. Então, é, luta é luta, é, se, acontece coisas que says, you know, acabam... Um, I do think a lot of fans have mis, uh, misunderstood me. You know, I said, uh, you know, I've, I've worked my butt off to get here. I'm a very humble, humble person, even though some people didn't think I haven't been humble, but uh, I wouldn't have gotten to where I've gotten if I wasn't humble so um, you know I just work hard every day and uh, just trying to do the best that I can and um, you know that's what we'll see I'm always here to get better so what is your relationship like with Dana White these days como é a tua relação com Dana White pô espero que esteja boa né eu não vi ele eu vou ver ele agora aí no no ultimate eu não vi ele ainda mas espero que esteja boa tá boa né patrão qual é he says, well, I hope it's good. I haven't seen him yet. I'm going to see him in, you know, over the next couple of days. And uh, that's when he said, it's all good, right, Dana? We're, we're good. Well, then, can you tell us what he said to you after UFC 112? Because uh, I don't know about you, but being next to my boss, with him looking that mad at me, I would feel uncomfortable, and I would almost be afraid to talk to him. So what did he say to you, and how did you respond when he said what he had to say? Depois uh, da do press conference lá em Abu Dhabi, o uh, que, que ele falou com você um, lá, lá no quarto? Porque ele falou, se eu estava com o meu chefe no lado de mim, com aquela cara de raiva, eu ia estar tá preocupado em que que ele ia me falar. O que, que ele falou com você? Anderson, I love you. I'm sure he does. <laughs> okay, just a couple more questions before I let you go. Good answer. Um, Chael Sonnen, your next opponent in August in Oakland, um, he has said a lot of things about you. He's been saying these things for a long time. He's called you a fraud. He's, he's attacked your, your, your character and your credibility. Have you taken any of the things that he's said to heart? Has it bothered you? Ele falou que esse tio está falando muitas coisas erradas. Ele falou muitas coisas que está uh, falando de você como uma pessoa, quanto a credibilidade, que você é falso, que você é aquilo. Uh, que, que isso está afetando você? Não. Nothing. Nothing. Well, he says he's going to be the man that he's he's going to figure you out. He's the one that's going to bring the fight to you and beat you. Do you feel as though he brings anything to the table? Is he a true test to you? Ele falou que ele vai ser, ele está falando que ele vai que vai ser o cara que vai descobrir como salvar essa quebra-cabeça de vo, que você é um, e que ele que vai salvar a solução para ganhar de você. It's fine. It's okay. No problem. You will solve this problem in August. Vai salvar esse problema em agosto. Is there anything you want to say to him, though? Because he addresses you a lot, and you never really respond to him. So is there anything you'd like to say to him with uh, a month and a half away from the fight now? You love him. I love it. The guy talked to me, blah, 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 blah. 
go inside the ring in octagon is different. Will you go into that fight with a different mindset to sort of prove all your doubters wrong? No, I don't have to prove anything to anyone. I think my fans know how I am. Eu, como lutador, não tenho nada que provar nada para ninguém, nem para o Shail Sonnen, nem para qualquer outro lutador. Eu acho que é, as pessoas... É, é, os, o, alguns yeah, you lutadores... Know, you know, every fighter is going to have... You know, Shail is getting his opportunity now to step up and, and you know, fulfill a dream of his. And, you know, there's a lot of fighters out there that are frustrated fighters that, that say a lot of things that aren't uh, are untrue. They just try to hype the fight. But he's going to have his opportunity on August 7th. And, uh, you know, a lot of people talk. We'll see what happens. Okay, final question. Who is tougher, this man or this man? Quem é mais forte? Você ou esse cara? Let me check. It's the Anderson Silva toy. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Go. Oh, this wow. guy is This tough. guy is uh, oh, amazing. This is the man. Can we see, and, and finally, I, I've always appreciated your dance moves. Can we see it? I mean, I've seen the, the, the Michael Jackson homage. You've done it before. You've danced in the octagon. Can we see you dance? Just for a couple seconds here. Look at all these fans. Do you guys want to see Anderson Silva dance? They want to see you dance, Anderson Silva. Give him a little uh, Michael Jackson. Billy Jean is. You dance together, me? Sure. <laughs> you dip. You just dip. Thank you. Thank you. There he is, Anderson Silva, the UFC middleweight champion. There he goes.